Oh, hey there. Welcome to Mill City Roasters. I'm Nick Green and I'm with Derek Delapaz's six kilogram production roaster. We're gonna mess it up a little bit today, just for you. A lot of customers get their roaster and the first thing they try to do is fire it up and they wonder why on the new MCR series, their gas pressure doesn't go high enough. We test with very high gas pressures at the factory during our test roast and we like to make sure that that gas valve is closed to not over inflate the gauge. We're gonna show you right now how to set that up. Our first step is going to be igniting this roaster. So if you have any gas valves that are closed, let's make sure to open those up. Our roaster's already on, we're gonna go down below. Now that we're here, I want you to take special note of all of these steps. Each one is important, leave nothing out. First thing we're gonna do is increase our gas pressure, something well above what we ever expect to hit. If you know that your building has, say, two kPa of gas coming in, we're gonna put that target to something like 2,500. Now for Derek's roaster, because he has lots of access to gas, we need to set this up quite high. We'll get to why in just a moment. Now that our target, this bottom number, is at 4,000, you can see that our gas pressure itself is limited to 600 pascals, or 0.6 kPa. We need to adjust that. We do so by removing these screws that hold this cover on. You can do that with an Allen key. I've already gone ahead and removed most of these screws. I'll remove that last one to give us access. We pull the cover straight off towards the control panel and we'll set it aside. Inside, you'll notice a few different things. We have a bracket and we have a gas valve itself. For the time being, we know that our gas pressure target is higher than what we can achieve, so the actuator is all the way open. All of this may sound confusing, but just follow along. What we're going to do is lock out the PLC, the onboard computer, from connecting to that actuator by hitting the interrupt button. Once pressed in, we can press down on the clip to hold that button in. This is where things might get a little confusing, so I'm gonna call them out as I see them using colors and sizes. With this roaster on, we can quickly watch that gas pressure as I start to do this work. We're gonna unlock the smaller silver disc by turning it up and towards the drum motor closer to the larger bronze disc. Once that is unlocked, we can begin increasing the orifice size. Now this isn't your burner orifice, this is the gas valve pass-through. We're actually allowing more gas through at each position of that gas valve. Right now that valve is fully open, so we know that we can go up as high as we need to and only affect the top end. We're going to stick Eric right at 3 kPa to make sure that we have a little bit of back pressure in this roaster. If we went all the way up to, I believe our max is 35, we would stop losing control or start losing control about halfway through that closing action. You'd find yourself going from 3,500 to 3,000 to zero. There wouldn't be any back pressure. What we're gonna do when we're done with this, reseat, relock that silver disc, press the button. Unlocking the clip is as easy as pressing that button in again. Now, we do want to test this. So we'll start running down through this gas pressure to make sure that we have resolution. We'll start by going directly to the number, making sure that we don't have any changes. Stepping down another thousand. We can see that gas pressure swiftly change to match. Continue this process until you're sure that you have control for the roast style you want to achieve, and call me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.